And that's how it all started. And I'm looking at this right now and I'm just thinking that guy had no idea what he was getting into. Even though I did, I did my research, but I'd never done anything like this before. Not even close. But for some reason, I decided to take on this project. And I can tell you that I saved money, that I learned a lot about home improvement, that I received a profound sense of satisfaction when the job was done. But at the end of the day, it was something that I just wanted to do or something I maybe I felt I had to do. You know, at the time, I was craving a project. I had some time on my hands that I wanted to fill. And I wanted something that kind of seemed impossible for me to do. And the 60-year-old 60 year old shower was kind of staring me right in the face. So I started doing my research about demolition and waterproofing and plumbing and tiling. And that was a long process just before I even felt ready to first take that swing of the hammer. Um, getting all that info straight was one of the hardest parts of the project. There's just so much conflicting opinions and information out there. And I have to thank the John Bridge Tile Forum, the Tile subreddit, and Sal DeBlasi on YouTube for just, you know, those first two places for providing me a place I can go and ask questions. And then Sal DeBlasi for just providing that quality professional kind of like, I can trust this guy. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Um, so when the physical labor finally did begin, you know, the questions kept coming and I had to keep doing research. You know, what's the right way to do this? What's the right way to do that? What's the right tool to use to do this? And those resources I mentioned were invaluable, but so were some of my friends um, because I probably saved over $1,000 by borrowing tools from people I know. And I have to thank Phil and Mary, Bob, Dr. Bob, Mr. T, Jim, John, and Zach for letting me use their stuff. So when I started, my goal was to have this project done in about two months. Uh, but it ended up taking four and a half months. Even though I did a bunch of research and I planned and I made really conservative timelines for every part of the project, on a daily basis, things just took longer than expected. And it really started to wear on me at some point. I think it was about the three-month mark where this project went from something that I was excited about to something that I kind of dreaded and I just wanted to be done with. And when that happens, you need to be careful. <laughs> it's easy to start taking shortcuts. Uh, but from the beginning, I decided that my priority with the shower was going to be its integrity. And I wasn't going to sacrifice that. I wanted something that was going to last. I didn't want to be doing this again in 5, 10 years. I wanted this to last 20, 30, 40 years or more, or 60 years, like the original shower that was put into the house. Um, but that said, there were a couple situations where I decided to kind of plow ahead when I probably should have paused and quit for the day and done some more research, asked some questions. And it was really only good fortune that prevented any irreparable harm from coming from that decision, from those decisions. But of course, at some point after four and a half months, I did have finished the shower. Uh, I demoed the old shower, I moved electrical, replaced the subfloor, refinished the ceiling, plumbed in a new shower valve, shimmed the studs flat, installed the shower niche framing, built the curb, installed the waterproof wallboard, dry packed the shower pan, installed the drain, waterproofed the floor, tiled the floor, tiled the walls, grouted the floor, grouted the walls, silicone the corners, and I painted the bathroom. It took about 150 hours of labor and another 30 hours of research. It cost $4,134.67. Now that it's all said and done, there are a couple special people I'd like to thank. One is my buddy Logan, who's never really seen a project he couldn't tackle himself. And if it weren't for him, just knowing that guy I'd, and knowing what he's done and watch, you know, listening and watching him do what he's done, I'd probably still be looking at every home improvement project as something that I'm just not able to do. The other is, of course, my wife, who put up with all the dust and my daily venting and frustration. Her common sense and restraint was invaluable at times. So what you see here in this video is basically four and a half months of my life condensed down into five minutes. And I thought a lot about, you know, was it time well spent? And honestly, I don't know, but it's what I decided to do.